Hello there, 2021 is well underway and many of us are still working from home so I thought I'd share a morning routine. I'm not a morning person at all so as tempting as it is to shuffle to my desk in my pajamas and no makeup, which definitely happens sometimes and I very much enjoy it, I do feel much more productive if I have a proper routine to start the day with some feel good products. I'm always trying to strike a balance between old favourites and new discoveries in my content. My channel's never been focused on new launches because I'm a big believer in shopping your stash and enjoying existing products, but an exciting part of my job is getting to test new beauty bits. Given we just revisited lots of old faithfuls in my 2020 makeup favourites, I thought I'd give you a peek at a bunch of new makeup I've been testing. A morning routine meets playing with new launches. But remember that playing with new makeup can also mean rediscovering old makeup you'd forgotten you loved, finding an old gem that helps you feel like you've refreshed your routine. After hitting snooze for the fifth time, I get started with some classic tried and tested skincare steps. Nothing that new here, just products I always enjoy. I start with deodorant and let it dry while I do the rest of my skincare. This section of the video is in paid partnership with Native. It's great to be back working with this cruelty-free vegan brand. I've been using and loving their deodorant since early 2020. I've talked about my fresh favourite, cucumber and mint, before, but I'm all about lavender and rose lately. The lavender really wins, so it feels like a calm way to start the day. Love having their plastic-free packaging option now too. Native is committed to sourcing this paperboard from responsibly managed forests and they're a proud partner of 1% for the planet, committing 1% of sales from this range to environmental non-profits. All of their formulas are aluminium, paraben and sulfate free with natural smooth ingredients like shea butter and coconut oil. If you're interested you can get 25% off a pack of three plastic free deodorants via the link below using the code MATILDA4. Normally 39 US dollars but you'll get them for 29. The code includes free shipping within the US but they also ship to Eight other countries. Let me know which scent you'd pick to start your day. Next, I used to just splash my face with cold water, but after upping my evening skincare routine because my skin's been a lot drier, I feel like I need a gentle morning cleanse. Glossier Milky Jelly has always ticked that box for me. It's a refreshing, cool conditioning jelly that I massage onto dry skin, then massage off with cold water, and my skin feels fresh and soft. You'll see in my upcoming 2020 skincare favourites that my skin dried out so much last year that most of my hydration steps had to step up a notch. Go To Very Useful Face Cream has been a long time favourite evening moisturiser for me. It's much heavier than the usual light fluids I use in the morning, but now I use a little bit of this in the morning instead. It's nice and nourishing, but doesn't feel heavy. Remember UV rays can still get you if you work near a window at home. My usual ultraviolet supreme screen rave would be inserted here, but I've also been using Queen Screen 2, their signature SPF 50. This lightweight, non-greasy, luminizing sun serum creates a great healthy glow. Pretty noticeable rose scent, doesn't bother me, and you need to apply three full droppers to get enough protection for your face and neck. Sounds like a lot, but it sinks in nicely, and because it's so thin, it's perfect to reapply over makeup during the day. I'll link a demo below. A quick swipe of lip balm to prep my lips so they're nice and soft by the time I put some colour on. I love the travel inspired products and scents in La Paradisa's range and their Mykonos Watermelon Lip Balm is absolutely delicious. Pretty realistic but also a super sweet lip smacker style watermelon for a little bit of nostalgia and a tropical holiday at home. Moving on to makeup, some fairly new launches and others that are just new to me. The world definitely turned upside down in 2020. I had a neon pink eyeliner in my favourites and there's a foundation here. But trust me, barely their coverage lovers, keep watching. I've never been much of a primer person because my moisturiser and sunscreen create a hydrated base, but there is something so special about this new Gucci Beauty Silk Priming Serum. A super thin, lightweight fluid that feels like silk on your skin. It's not sticky, it softly blurs texture and pores it glides on. If I could give you a visual to describe how this feels on the skin, it's like ice skating. Virtue and Moya 2018 Winter Olympics gold medal. Its sister product, the Gucci Beauty Natural Finish Fluid Foundation, launched in December last year. Regulars know I'm much more of a skin tint person. I just like seeing my skin. So when I posted about this on Instagram recently, someone said, wait, are you actually wearing foundation or is this just really lightweight? This is really lightweight, a stunning fluid that comes in 40 diverse shades with four different undertones. This has such a natural finish or you can build for more coverage. It's skin-like, lasts all day, doesn't separate or gather in pores. Your skin just looks amazing. So, so impressed by this combination. Let me know if you'd be interested to see more from the Gucci Beauty range because I've been pretty impressed by most of that too. I'd heard rave reviews about the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. It doesn't quite reach Clay de Peau status for me. I don't think anything will ever knock that out of my top concealer spot. But this 30 shade concealer is creamy, easy to blend and buildable. It can be full coverage, but looks nice and natural if you use light layers too. 
anyone else seeing a sharp increase in brow wax at the moment? I'd never tried any before, but Patrick Tarr's Major Brow Shaping Wax has me hooked. I've always been a brow gel fan, but this wax does wonders. It really lifts and defines every single hair for a bushy, full brow, but they don't feel stuck down. Spray a little bit of water or mist, then gently rub a spoolie across the surface. I just bend the one on the end of the Rowan Vow Brow Pencil, another product I've been lacking lately to add super fine strokes in any gaps. Brush on up for fresh, straight out of the salon, bold brows. Manasi 7 is a brand I discovered in Content Beauty in London a few years ago, and I look forward to sharing more of their all-over colour shades. The founder, makeup artist Suzanne Manasi Person, was born in India and grew up in Sweden, and she designs nuanced shades that work so well on all skin tones. Gazania is one of her more recent multitasking colours, a beautiful, cinnamon-inspired, brownie, peachy terracotta for cheeks, eyes, and lips. Lisa Eldridge wore this one all three ways in a recent Instagram reel linked below. For an easy eye look, something creamy usually does the trick for me. Undone Beauty's 3-in-1 Eye Palette in the warm combination Earthling has a highlighting primer base, a pigmented shadow, and an intense black liner. I love wearing the highlighter all over the lid for a bright, pearly glow, or the great coppery shade Sheared Out. Do they crease? Most cream shadows do, but I'm not that fast. These suit a lived-in look. The M Cosmetics Pick Me Up Mascara launched in August last year. I've tried and loved so many pieces from M Cosmetics, so a big brand overview is on the way this year, but this is their first mascara. It's also the first tubing mascara I've tried. Part of the appeal is that it coats each lash and can be removed with warm water by gently rubbing and pulling the formula off. Not my favourite way to do it, just gets a bit too messy, but this has nice volume and length, though it's on the more natural side of volumising mascaras I use. A slick of lip oil to finish. My Beauty Brand is a collab-based brand from the UK that have teamed up with British makeup artist Hannah Martin before, but their latest limited edition launch with LA-based makeup artist Nikki DeRoost really got me excited. I've mentioned Nikki before, she regularly works with Rosie Huntington-Whiteley, she was the founder of Rowan Beauty, anything she's involved in, I'm on board. This is such a light, balmy, glassy lip oil that adjusts to your pH level to create a bright pop of pink. I bought one of these for a friend over the holidays and I'm pretty sure she's already bought backups. I'd love to hear what your working from home morning routine has looked like so far this year. How do you start the day? Have you mixed things up to help you feel fresh? Are you going makeup free or giving the delivery driver a surprise and playing around with different products? Let me know if you've introduced any new items into your skincare stash or makeup bag or if you've unearthed any old favourites. Thanks for watching. See you next time.